Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about repurposing content. So how can we make the most of the content that we're already creating? So for this entire video, we're going to start with one main piece of content. So for you, that could be a blog post, a YouTube video, or a podcast episode. So something that is more substantial that we can then repurpose. So my first tip for you is to simply add another format. So if you're currently doing YouTube videos, then you can repurpose that and post it as a blog post. Or in reverse, if you're currently doing blog posts, then you could turn that into a video and share it on YouTube. So for example, I started out with this video, my top four tools for working remote. And then I could also turn that into a blog post, which I share on my blog. You can do this easily by using the websites rev.com or temi.com to get a transcript of your video. So this main piece of content could also be a live. So it could be a Facebook live or an Instagram live. And I just learned about this trick from Rena over at Pink Content Solutions. I learned about it yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh. So what she does is as she's doing a Facebook Live, she has Google Docs running in the background because they have a voice typing feature. So she can go ahead and do her live and Google Docs will automatically transcribe this in the background for her. So this is amazing. I actually did a tutorial on how to use this yesterday. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. My next tip for you is to take the content from this main piece and repurpose that into social media graphics. So for this, you could use Canva. I also have a full training on this software. It allows you to create any graphic that you could possibly need. So check the description below after this video for all links and other tutorials. But basically what I could do for this one is then create a social media graphic that I could share on Instagram using the same information from that video. So I could take the content from the video and repurpose it for social media graphics like this, which is a quick and easy way of producing more content. Tip number three is to take that YouTube video or podcast and share a soundbite of it on social media. So you can use the website headliner.app to create an audiogram of your YouTube video or your podcast. And this allows you to share a really engaging snippet of your content. The next way you can make the most out of your content is to share any positive feedback or comments that you get on it. Not only will this entice others to go and check it out, but you can have fun with it, you can decorate it, share it on social media, and this becomes another form of content. So for example, I was able to take this super nice comment that I got on one of my videos and turn it into an Instagram story and direct people back to that video. My next tip for you is to reshare old content. We always feel like we have to create new content, but you've already created some great content in the past. If it's relevant now, you can simply reshare it, or maybe it's just a matter of doing a simple update. So for example, I have this article here reviewing Squarespace email marketing for 2019. So instead of creating content from scratch, I could come into this post, change the date to 2020 and provide an update on this topic. Another thing you can do once you've created it is convert it for IGTV. I actually have a full tutorial on this, so I'll link to that below. So for example, I was able to take that video from YouTube, format it for IGTV and post it there as well. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Those are my best tips for repurposing your content. Now I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below how you are repurposing your content. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.